Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on in here. Come on in here. It is the third day of the full liquid fast, the 21-day liquid fast. I pray that you are holding on. You know, um, I I'm really going to start doing like some hard-hitting videos to let you know how important it is to stay on the fast. Um, God is doing something. Our flesh, it always fights against anything that actually lifts you up to a spiritual realm the enemy don't want you to know god the enemy doesn't want you to be powerful the enemy doesn't want the presence of god in your life because when there's the presence of god there's power there's healing there's deliverance there's wisdom there's integrity there's discernment come on somebody hallelujah when you have the power of god so I want to encourage you. It's not going to be easy. As a matter of fact, anything that's really worthwhile in life is never easy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But we're living in a day and time where it is so evil that you must push yourself. You must challenge yourself. You must understand that. Guess what? I got to go to the next level. I have to do this. And to be honest with you, it's not even about you. It is about what's inside of you. It is about your calling. It is about your destiny. It is about the gifts that God has put inside of you. And he's trying to push them out and the only way they can be birthed out is through pain tests tribulations come on somebody hallelujah if you read about everybody that was in that bible it was not easy joseph his own brothers come on somebody hallelujah walk with me today walk with me joseph look what they did come on somebody moses his own people i mean they just you know it it, it behooves me how the people that you're trying to help will eventually come up against you i just said something Sometimes in your inner circle, oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, talk to me, talk to me. And yet God tells you, smile, forgive them, and keep pushing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because it is not about them. It is about much more. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You see, I always tell people, if your outsiders know your business, you better check your insiders. I just said something. So on this third day, I want you to push. I want you to push. I want you to push past the pain. You're not going to die. I promise you not. Because as a matter of fact, medically, and you can actually Google this, your body can go without food for 40 days. Hold on. Liquids. Okay, so let, let me clarify that because I don't want nobody to say, well, Apostle said that, and then you be trying something like that. I have done a 40-day fast before, and I'm not kidding. Hold on. With nothing. I did that when I was in Bible college. I thought I was going to die. I have never did it again. I did it, but I thought I was going to die for real. I just did it because I want to see if I can do it. I will never do that again without God's permission. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you because I put myself through something. But when you go on a corporate fast, and it is biblical. You can Google that. It is biblical. When we go on a corporate fast, there's power. I'm talking about in your home, around your business, in your family. Come on, somebody. You have to understand the enemy is rising in this hour with fear. And so we're trying to push to another level of faith. It's not just about prosperity. It's about power. It's healing, walking with the power of the Holy Ghost. Goes. I, I reference this all the time, how the disciples were so powerful. And I'm not saying we have to be like them. I'm saying we got to be better than them. Yes, well, that's what I said. Because the Bible says that Jesus says, because I go to my father, you should do greater works. Church, where's the greater works? I don't want to hear all that foolishness. I'm not talking about no fake miracles. I'm not talking about everybody want to be a star. I'm not talking about all this strange fire. And I got a video coming up right after this one because I'm kind of highly upset. Oh, I'm highly upset. Oh, I'm highly upset. There was a tragedy that happened in this little town, and um, they're going to be mad at me. Oh, they're going to be mad at me when, when I give my take on it. Whew. So I got to stay fasting. I got to stay because even, and, and I'm going to go here. Maybe I can tell you this. Thank you, Lord. When you are in a, 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 a fast, and, and even when you just have the power of the Holy Ghost, you see things that other people don't see. That's why when I be posting stuff, y'all don't move me because I know what God didn't show me. And what you don't understand, most of you don't. I know you don't. I have already gone to God like two or three times. God, you show. God, you show. Somebody was trying to call. And I know they know I'm doing it. <laughs> Whatever. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. I want to be sure. So I need the power of the Holy Ghost so he can reference me and say, this is what happened. This is what's going on. And then, I ain't going to lie. Most people get mad. Ah, what's she talking about? Don't worry about what I'm talking about. I have authority to talk about what I'm talking about. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because if God showed you, you have authority. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And that's what's happening. The enemy is challenging our authority in this hour. As if God didn't give it to us. As if he didn't say that we had it. Hallelujah. 
to his name. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm on one. Y'all know when I fast his own like butter popcorn. Y'all know it's true. Hallelujah. Be who God have called you to be. Hallelujah. And you don't have to apologize for it. I'm not going to apologize for what I see, what I know in the spirit of God. Hallelujah for his name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. So it's okay. And, and let me tell y'all something. Here's what I want y'all to do. Let's say that uh, I see somebody on here talking about, I could only do two days. Can you do me a favor? I don't mean no harm. Please don't write that in the comments. Just keep that to yourself and keep pushing because that is, if we already have an enemy, we already have things trying to stop us. Please don't write anything negative. If you didn't do it or you couldn't do it or whatever the case, and I'm not bashing you, God bless you. No, don't write that. Don't write that because I'm just going to delete it because guess what? I'm going to stay on track and I need everybody else to stay on track because here's the deal. That's what's wrong with the body of Christ. The masses, the masses, the enemy tries to control the masses. So if one person get in fear, if one person get this, then everybody start. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why. Oh, that's good. God. Do you remember when Moses, when Joshua, I'm sorry, sent them to spot out the land and 10 of them went and eight of them came back. Ooh, that's giants in the land. But the other two came up and said, wait a minute. I believe we can take them. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I'm telling you, I'm going to be a Caleb in this hour. I believe we can take them. Hallelujah. I, I know they got giants. Yeah, I know what they're doing. I, I know what they, I understand. Trust me. But I believe we can take them. Because Jesus showed us how to do it. He said, get in that word. Come on, somebody. And he said, fast and pray. Come on, somebody. And, and, and he left an example. He beat Satan. Hallelujah. They keep, they, they, they're going in and out on my, um, on my live. Y'all already know what they're doing. Because they don't like when I'm in power. Because they know that power goes to the airwaves and it breaks everything in your life. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I know what I carry. I'm anointed to carry it. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. When you are anointed to carry, you must know what you carry. Hallelujah. And that's not, that's not uh, arrogance. That's confidence. Because you got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better know who you are in Christ because the enemy will always try to tell you who you are not. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you, whatever you got to do, even if you got to tr um, transfer or, or convert to a Daniel fast, don't you get off this fast. If you got to fast till 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, whatever, you don't get off this fast. You stay on it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm not trying to tear down anybody that stopped. But if you hungry for real, oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to you real Christians, the remnant. Honey, with tears in your eyes, God, I'm going to do it. With, with pain in your body. Oh, come on, somebody. With somebody offering you some food and, and you hungry. No, you're hungry. I, no, that's all right. Thank you, though. God bless you. Because I, I, I'm after something. My family is going through something. My mind is going through something. I'm going through something. And, and, and I need to do this. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You, I'm telling you, right in this hour, and I keep seeing Jacob wrestling with the angel. I keep seeing that. I keep seeing that. That's where you at. God, I'm not going to let go until you bless me. Hallelujah. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know when you're going to do it. And, but I do know you have to do it. Oh, hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. The Bible says, command ye me, said the Lord. Google that. Because if you know your Bible, you understand what I'm saying. He said, command ye me. When you walk in righteousness, integrity, and honor, you command God to do something. Yeah, I said it. It's in your Bible. Hallelujah. But you better be in right standing because God's going to look at you like, you ain't got no power. Oh, I just said something. Hallelujah. When God looks through the earth, notice he used Moses. He used Abraham. I told you God is unauthorized in the earth. So he always looked for another person. He said, can I do it? Come on, somebody. Sodom and Gomorrah. Notice what he said. He said, Abraham, I'm going to need you because I've need to. i I've, I've heard the cries of my people in Sodom and Gomorrah. He says, and, 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 and Abraham figured it out. Abraham figured it out. And he said, wait a minute. So you need me to give you authority. Oh, I just said something. Y'all wondering why stuff is not getting done in the earth you have not given God the authority but first of all you have to be in authority you got to be righteous come on somebody hallelujah so let me continue the story so Abraham said 50 if 50 be found he said I can't do no 40 but we, what he did is he went and get loud he said uh, I'm about to give God permission to destroy this place get up out of here come on somebody hallelujah you better know your authority hallelujah because when you know your authority then God has to move on your authority don't you understand you have a covenant with God come on somebody hallelujah some of you are acting like you are broken down and that you don't have power. Yes, you do. And you don't have to be an apostle or prophet. You just have to be a child of God that walk with the anointing, that know that God is God. Hallelujah. And have obedience. I'm going to tell you the truth. The key is obedience and righteousness. I didn't say perfect, but you can't be acting like hell and asking God to do something from heaven. The devil is a lie. Come on, somebody. And so are you. Hallelujah. 
That it don't work like that. There are spiritual laws in place. Hallelujah. And that's why the body of Christ is broken down because we're trying to get around the spiritual laws. And God said, you must be crazy. I am God. Come on, somebody. I put stuff in order. Hallelujah. And I'm a God of order. And you got to do it my way or you are out of order. Come on, somebody. Y'all wonder why? That's why. You got to do it God's way. Hallelujah. I feel the power. Y'all know I'm on one. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 So you just stay encouraged. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. Hallelujah. I don't know why. No, I know why I'm saying this. In this season... Stop messing with plants. In this season, stop messing with plants. I'm saying exactly what I'm saying. You know if somebody don't like you, you know if it don't feel right, and guess what? Quit letting them bully you. I got to say this because guess what? For me and my house, we should serve the Lord. You bullies, you plants, y'all better y'all better leave me alone in this season because I'm on one. I'm on one. I'm going to run through you. Hallelujah. I ain't playing with you. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Get back. Get back. Give me 50 feet. You're going to give me 50 feet and keep trying to push your way into my life. I just said something for a bunch of y'all. When people are trying to push their way into your life, that's not of God. Hallelujah. If I'm telling you I need some time and I'm consecrated, why in the heck you keep calling me? Why you keep tripping with me? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm on one. Hallelujah. Y'all better put people in, your, in their place. I'm serious. It's time out for all that foolishness, said the Lord. You see, that's why I love the Bible. Ah, they, they didn't play. They didn't play with nobody. You know what Jesus didn't even say? He said, you snakes and you vipers. He called them what they were. Y'all think it's being ugly. No, it ain't being ugly. It's telling the truth. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing in this season. I got somewhere to go. and You're trying to, you're trying to stop me. They keep calling. They're doing all kind of stuff to stop this life. You can't stop God. Hallelujah. I feel the power up in here. I love fasting. Ooh, I love fasting. It don't feel good, but I love the power of God. Hallelujah. 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 So I just want to encourage you. You know, I ain't mean no harm or did I? <laughs> y'all better. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Y'all better figure out who y'all are. God said, walk like it, talk like it, act like you are a soldier of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.